What's up guys, Handles here, and today I'm going to be telling you the story of DeMar DeRozan. His story is one of the most inspirational things in the NBA, and it just goes to show how anyone can change their life for the better. Now I'm a DeMar DeRozan fan, and reading this story was great, but the story you're about to hear is just amazing of how DeRozan came up and is now known across the NBA as one of the elite mid-range scorers. Even at one point in DeRozan's life, he was a part of the Compton Crips, but now he is making over $27 million per year. DeRozan still has ties to the Crips, occasionally throwing up the Compton Crips gang sign when he performs a huge play, but that's just DeRozan. He remembers his roots and will forever embrace it and love it. So let's get into the story. DeMar DeRozan was born on August 7th, 1989 and was nicknamed Blessed One by his grandma because, well, he was never supposed to arrive. Lamar was named after his mother's brother, Lamar, who was gunned down at the age of 20 over an argument about a rap cassette. Although the house was only a block away from the sheriff's offices, the DeRozan family knew they still had to be careful. Then when Damar was only 4 years old, his uncle was gunned down because a gangster mistook him for someone else. Someone dying in your family would have a big effect on anyone. Sure, DeRozan may have been only 4 years old and might not have remembered much, but the atmosphere he was in at the time obviously had to have affecting a developing brain quite a bit. As DeRozan was growing up, word spread around Compton about a 12 year old who can already dunk on his 6'4 father. When gangs were robbing houses on the block, they would always end up near DeRozan's house, but they wouldn't even touch it. All gangs knew to never touch the kid on the block who had a future in basketball. As DeRozan attended high school as a freshman, he averaged over 26 points per game which helped Compton to his first playoff berth in many years. In high school, everyone started to call him Debo, which was nicknamed after a tall character in the Comedy Friday which starred Ice Cube. One time, Frank DeRozan, his father, even recalled seeing thugs robbing cars along the street and then heading their way. But one of the thugs yelled out, Fool, that's Debo and his daddy. DeRozan was so respected among gangs that everyone would just avoid harming him or his family in any way. Everyone knows DeRozan has ties to the Crips. He even tweeted out at one time that he wore blue every day in high school. And he just constantly throws up Compton Crip gang signs when he does something amazing on the court. And that's who exactly was protecting him, the Compton Crips. DeRozan has been loyal to his hometown forever. And loyalty is all he knows and he even got a tattoo on the top of his hand saying loyalty. But high school would turn out bad for DeMar as his mother, Diane, started to develop a disease known as lupus, which is a chronic illness that affects the immune system. His mother had to quit her job in order to be treated. Knowing your mother is going through a tough time can be hard on you, and no one would ever want to know their mother has a life-threatening disease at such a young age. As DeRozan progressed throughout high school, he was putting up amazing numbers. As a freshman, he averaged 26.1 points and 8.4 rebounds, during his sophomore year, he averaged 22.6 points and 8.4 rebounds, while as a junior, he averaged 22.3 points, 7.8 rebounds and 3 assists and 3.2 steals, and as a senior, he averaged 29.2 points per game and 7.9 rebounds. Damar led Compton High to a 26-6 record and a consecutive Moore League Championship and the CIF Division IAA Southern Section Quarterfinals. For his efforts, he was awarded the Moore League Most Valuable Player Award and named to the California All-State Team. DeRozan was a member of the 2008 McDonald's All-American Team and also won the 2008 All-American Slam Dunk Competition. But sometime between high school and college, DeRozan got a tattoo on his wrist saying Blessed One for the nickname his grandmother gave him. Damar was just an amazing basketball player, but DeRozan had one flaw to his game that hurt him the most. He couldn't shoot. In high school, yeah, he thrived easily because of the below average defenders and his amazing athletic ability. College is where DeRozan would really struggle, since defense got a whole lot more tough and everyone is going to be just as athletic as you. DeRozan decided to choose the University of Southern California over North Carolina and Arizona State. DeRozan struggled in college. In 35 games, he averaged 13.9 points on 52% field goal percentage and 16% on threes, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.7 assists and a terrible 65% on free throws. You may look at me saying, hey, handles, DeMar shot 52%, that's pretty good. But no, most of DeRozan attempts were very close to the basket. Basically, he got all his points on drives. And when he decided to shoot, you knew it was a brick. But DeRozan turned it around in the Pac-10 tournament, playing amazing basketball and leading his team to the finals and winning the Pac-10 tournament. 
His efforts in the Pac-10 tournament earned DeRozan the honors of the Pac-10 tournament MVP, and then USC went on to the NCAA Division I tournament as the 10th seed, where they ended up losing in the second round to Michigan. DeRozan announced his decision to enter the 2009 NBA Draft and in the end was drafted by the number 9 overall pick by the Toronto Raptors. DeRozan stated that a reason for him leaving USC was because he needed to help his mother. DeMar's rookie year wasn't the best. He played in 77 games and started 65 of them and only averaged 8.6 points per game and his Raptors missed the playoffs. Now DeRozan knew if he was going to become an NBA star, he'd have to put in a lot of work working on the shot. And DeRozan got progressively better by constantly putting work at the gym, and he was just a gym rat. Finally, in the 2013-2014 NBA season, DeMar had a breakout season, averaging 22.7 points and earned him his first All-Star selection. But DeMar wasn't happy with that, he wanted to be better. He didn't want just one All-Star selection, he wanted to become an NBA superstar. And finally, during the 2016-2017 NBA season, DeMar did it. He broke out into one of the NBA's superstars at the mid-range shot and is now known everywhere you go. He's putting up career numbers across the board at 27.3 points per game, 5.2 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 84.2% free throw percentage. He went from averaging only 14 points in college and having a 65% free throw percentage to now averaging more than 27 points per game and an 85% free throw percentage. His play now even earned him his own colorway of the Kobe ADs which is releasing on April 12th. DeRozan is now a superstar for the NBA. He went from having ties to gangs in Compton, being a terrible shooter in college, a below average starter in the NBA who can't shoot, to now one of the NBA's superstars at the mid-range. DeRozan is now widely respected among all players, he has friends throughout all of the NBA, he's one of the most humble guys you'll ever see, and is just a great player to watch with all his amazing clutch shots and contested mid-range shots he hits with ease. And I wish him all the best in the upcoming playoffs. Anyways guys, that's the story of DeMar DeRozan, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, anyways I'm Handles Up and I'm out.